Did you know Microsoft has a setting basically inside Windows that will reserve bandwidth or steal bandwidth from you when it wants to connect to the internet? So if you do a long data transfer, you'll see these sharp valleys in the graph where you lose a lot of bandwidth. And that's because during that big file transfer, Microsoft wanted to check to see, hey, are you licensed? Or, hey, I'm going to be doing a Windows update and I'm going to start downloading that update. And the update will take precedent over what you are doing right now. It's very much like going to an amusement park, buying a regular ticket, and then having a bunch of rich people with a fast pass just basically cut in front of you because they have the fast pass and you don't. Well, when you're using Microsoft Windows, they have the fast pass and you don't unless you do this setting. So let's get on the desktop and do this setting. I'm gonna show both the professional version, which uses group policy. So if you have Windows 10 Pro, you can do that. If you have Windows 10 Home, you have to do a reg edit. And I'm gonna show both these and also add it to my toolbox from the prior video. And if you haven't checked out the video, I'll link it up here. Be sure and check that out after you watch this. So let's get on the desktop and show you what Microsoft's doing. All right, so right now I'm doing a pretty big transfer. It's about a terabyte of so information locally from one box to another, just throwing some games on this machine as I'm making a new gaming rig. Now, with this, you'll notice these giant valleys. Now, some of this can be just a, a big file dump where it's a bunch of little files usually you'll start to see something but once it runs into a big file typically you should have a real steady line well with the bandwidth limitation you won't ever get that steady line across you'll always have just these little cuts in your actual bandwidth graph and performance now let's go into first go start and then or just right click on the start button hit run and then we're going to just type winver First off, let's make sure you're on Windows 10 Pro or above. If you're on Windows 10 Home, check down below. I'll leave a timestamp for the reg edit. Now you can do both the reg edit and the group policy if you're a pro user or above, but just know you won't have access to the local group policy if you don't have pro or above. But reg edit will still get you there. With that out of the way, we know what version of Windows we're on. We're gonna go start run again. And this time we're gonna go gpedit.msc. And from here, we're just going to go to Administrative Tools, Network, QoS Packet Scheduler, and Limit Reserve Bandwidth. You want to tick this from Not Configured to Enable, and then put it at zero. Or if you want to give Windows some kind of bandwidth, you could put like one or five or something. By default, 80%. So let's say you're doing a transfer or downloading something, and all of a sudden Windows Update kicks in, it's gonna take precedent and really start pushing a lot of your other traffic down because it will be number one. With this off at zero, it won't give anybody any priority. Everyone will be equal and the same. So when Windows Update and what you're doing hits, it'll be like, hey, this guy is number one and you, you're just gonna to have to wait your turn. And that's basically what this is doing. So I always recommend just removing reserve bandwidth as I don't care about how much this is, is enabled. I haven't noticed much of a difference by putting it zero and I haven't seen any negative consequences, but you can always change this back if you do see something, but I, I've never experienced it personally. Again, let me know in the comments if you do. So we'll just enable that and close this out. You can actually deploy this policy just by going into command prompt and then just doing a GP update as well. This would be another way of doing it. Most people just reboot their computer, but this is another way to do it. If you do a force, it'll require you to reboot as well. All right, now it's the time for the registry edit. Now this one's gonna be a little bit more because we're basically adding a feature to Windows Home that doesn't exist by default. And we can do that through registry. We're gonna go to the start menu, just right click and run and then we're gonna type reg edit. And what we'll do is I'm just gonna come back into here. This is what you're gonna see. Come into local machine software, and we're gonna to go to policies, Microsoft, and you're gonna be looking for P schedule, but you won't see that anywhere. So we need to add a key, basically adding this feature so we can say, hey, Microsoft, we don't want any limited bandwidth. So we'll go right click, new, key, P 
S C H E D enter. Only the P is capitalized and capitalization does matter. And next up with this selected, we now can see the, the full path name up here as it is. We'll right click, go new, and we're gonna want D word. It's a 32 bit value that we'll be doing. And then we're gonna go non with a capital N, best with a capital B, and none of these have spaces in between them. If you've never done any reg edit before, spaces are bad. And then effort with a capital E, limit with a capital L. So it should look exactly like this. And the default value here is usually 80, but obviously we wanna just leave it at the default of zero because we wanna just disable this thing. We have now done the registry edit and we'll just simply close this out and reboot the computer. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and reboot here just because I am in the middle of a large transfer of all these games. And that's the reason why I'm making this video is because I was sitting here going, oh, and I started to see those check-ins that Microsoft does that you'll see a lot of real valleys that just happen every five seconds or 10 seconds. It's almost a, a rhythm. And as soon as you do this, you'll notice your transfers will go a little bit faster, uh, be a little bit more reliable. All right, now with all that done, everything's in place. I will add this to my toolbox in the next update. Uh, the, if you hadn't checked out the toolbox again, I'll link it up above but I will be expanding it with this limit bandwidth feature in here to where uh, I'll probably put it in essential tweaks because I haven't seen anything negative come from doing this tweak. And also I will be doing a revert script on the toolbox. A lot of people requested that. Uh, so I'll be looking for that probably next month when I do all these updates and inter integrate this specific thing into the essential tweaks, but also I'll be adding a restore portion to that whole toolbox. So if for whatever reason you wanna just set everything back to default, you could do that as well. But with all that said, let me know your comments down below. As always, I always look forward to reading them. It just makes me able to make a lot better content for you just by getting your feedback and going, hey, okay, you know about that. What about this feature? Because a lot of times I get that, those ideas from, from comments as well. But with all that said, uh, I'll see you in the next one.